data scientist business analyst data analyst data engineer there are so many professions today in this data industry and i have seen people using these term interchangeably but what's the difference what sets these roles apart what is the best role for you hi i'm sagar in this episode we will identify the key differences between these roles so that you can decide which role is your future role and what suits you the best when i was a data scientist in amazon I had this privilege to work with all of these roles. So, we will take an example to see how each of these roles fit exactly and what are their responsibilities. According to you, what do you think is the most busiest month for Amazon where they are seeing maximum number of their sales? Every one of you will say the festive time, the month of October or November. Now, to get the best out of this opportunity, what do you think Amazon should do in order to prepare itself to make the maximum? Few of the things which are really important for Amazon to figure out during this time is having enough number of delivery boys stocking up their inventory to meet the demand and also suggesting people what to buy exactly and recommending them the right products on their website but we don't want to make these decisions based on our intuition hunch based decisions never work what we want is to back these decisions with data the first person that comes in the picture is a data scientist. Data scientist decides what all data should be analyzed in order to make these decisions. Now, in case a data scientist is not having enough data, what he will do, he will approach to data engineer whose job is to collect the data. Once data engineer collects the data, he maintains it manages it and tries that it is accessible to each and every single team. Once we have the data, data scientists will now perform statistical techniques in order to come up with what's the right strategy for decision making. Once the strategy is finalized, this strategy is forwarded to a data analyst. Data analyst at this point of time will take the data from the data engineer, strategy from the data scientist and will crunch the numbers in order to come up with the summary of what has happened. However, we still are on numbers. Data analyst is going to produce numbers which are yet to be interpreted. A business analyst will do this interpretation. Business analyst will try to understand what is the meaning of it, how these numbers are impacting the market decisions which we are making and will convey these business insights to senior people in a company. It can be a VP, a director or anybody who is handling the business in this org. So now let's discuss my favorite part. What skill set is required to become each of these roles? So let's get started with the data scientist. In order to become data scientist, the key part, the core of it, you need to understand is mathematics. You need to be really good with mathematical techniques like linear algebra, probability and statistics and I cannot stress more than this that how much statistics is important in order to become a data scientist. Apart from that, yes, you have to write some code so you should know Python. You should also have an idea about machine learning and deep learning. A little bit of SQL knowledge will definitely help you there as well. You have to be jack of all trades but if you want to be really master, please master mathematics. The next part which is the data engineer. Now you know that data engineer's role is to maintain and manage data. So definitely knowing the database the best you can will definitely help you become a successful data engineer. One of the key things which I will say is that apart from spending time just on SQL and NoSQL databases, try spending some time on big data. Try to understand how distributed databases work. Understand Hadoop and Spark as well. If you can manage data and you have an idea about APIs, I must say you will rock in data engineering field. Now comes the third one, which is data analyst. Now to understand data analyst, you have to understand that data analysis could be done in two ways. So if you will talk about the companies like consulting companies, KPMG, EY, Deloitte, McKinsey, BCG, Bain, you will just realize that these companies provide consulting to the other companies. Now what happens is in these companies is that these companies get data from their clients in morning 10 o'clock and by the evening they have to submit their insights. Now, if I need to bring insights this fast, definitely it will be very difficult for me to write the code, do the number crunching and then come up with the insights. So what they do is they do software based analytics. Now, in order to perform software based data analytics, you should know firstly Excel to the best level possible. Secondly, a BI tool. Now that could be Power BI or Tableau or ClickSense. Any of these three things work and in case now you have an in-house data analyst team, consider bank. 
it may be because of the reason that the amount of data is so humongously large that it is very difficult for Excel or Power BI to have that many number of rows as well. In that case, you write your own Python program in order to perform the analysis, but eventually you are trying to create the same dashboards. So in case of that, you need to know Python. All the data manipulation libraries in Python, for example, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, try to go beyond this as well with the libraries of Seaborn, dash plotly and try to make as many dashboards as possible based on the data that's what data analysts usually do finally the business analyst now business analyst does nothing different than a data analyst but what extra skill they have apart from the data analyst skills is the data storytelling like usually people will not even understand what skills you use what techniques you use to analyze the data but a business analyst will take these numbers try to make the story out of it and will present it so that even a layman could understand what i believe is that you know uh, steve jobs was one of the best business analysts like he had the numbers but he was like yeah i will not say these numbers i will present it in the best story possible one of the key questions which i usually get is that which role is best for me now that definitely depends from person to person one of the key important decision making factors in this is how much salary you're gonna make now if you want to earn a higher salary definitely a data scientist or a machine learning engineer is the role to go in but oftentimes it is more about the right skill fit as well so we do have a video where we have discussed all the salaries of these roles uh, but let's now talk it from the skill set point of view and where you want to be in your future if you want to be a business guy who wants to understand business who really wants to be very close to the markets i would say business analyst is the way to go because you will be understanding not only just the numbers but you will be also taking decisions what should be done that's the first secondly if you are really really inclined towards mathematics if you are really really good in crunching numbers and if you have that pattern recognition skills that okay this is the data i am seeing this is what the insight will look like if you have that ability which most people cannot do uh, i will say go for the data scientist or a machine learning role machine learning if you like forecasting future it's kind of a game you know i always feel predicting future is the best thing which we can do and if you have that curiosity machine learning is the way to go for another role which is data analyst it's the easiest to crack in like let's say you come from a non-technical background and you are not that good with mathematics as well this is a suggestion which i give to most bcom ba and other graduate students that if you really want to do great and you want to just enter the data industry right now data analyst is the field to go lastly we are left with data engineer now data engineer guys this is suggested for people who have a degree in computer science or it or at least who know programming a little bit they understand how softwares work they understand what are apis if you are good with that and you are really really strong in sql i will say go for the data engineer this much of idea should be enough like okay this is me this is i already know this is my background i should be pursuing this particular field and this should give you the sense of what you should be doing in your future if you want to be a part of the data industry if you have any questions please leave a comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on more data science related videos till then bye bye see you in the next video